Hey everyone! So today's video is finally after I think a year and a half um, I'm gonna be doing a sketchbook tour video. Now this sketchbook tour video is not just gonna be for this sketchbook it's actually also going to feature this big guy. So if this is your first time seeing my channel or maybe you just didn't see that video Basically, I started this sketchbook here. I forget what date, but I started this one. It was too big for the time because I had university and stuff like that. So I got a smaller sketchbook. I made a whole video explaining my thought process at the time. So if you're interested in seeing like why I switched from this to this, uh, I'll put that video in like the iCard or something. Now, if I'm being totally honest, one of my biggest regrets is giving up on this. Even though like logically I know it wouldn't have been possible to complete this one, it's still really sad because I love a lot of the artworks in this sketchbook here and I wish I could have seen it through all the way, but it's okay. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm not gonna make this intro super long. I'm just gonna open this up and show you guys what's in here. Anyways, here is the first spread. Let me just move these guys out of the way. <laughs> They're purely here for aesthetic purposes and nothing more. Alrighty, so this is the first spread here. I left this side here blank, but I did cover it with this like toned tan paper. So we have some cute stickers and we have the interpage here. So this is like a color pencil face here. I don't really like the colors I chose, but I like the shape, if that makes sense. This girl here has some cute plaid pants. I think it's pronounced plaid, right? Or is it plaid? I don't know why I remember hearing plaid. But yeah, I really like how this girl turned out. And this shade of yellow is like my favorite shade of yellow orange. Now, next page. Okay, so this is a watercolor painting of some buildings from Pinterest that I never really finished. This is an olive branch to fill up space purely. <laughs> and Oh yeah, this illustration here. Let me just fix the angle. Oh yeah, also I could do some zoom-ins. I forgot. Here's a little zoom-in on the girl from this page. And then that thing's a little shiny because I varnished it. But yeah, <laughs> this thing is so hard to film. <laughs> These are the buildings. I kind of like how they turned out, but the purple pencil ruined the white. Like I should have used a regular pencil in hindsight. This is some graffiti of my cat's name. Uh, his name is Ziku, he's a Siamese, and I think he's almost three years old. Or maybe he is three years old. Um, now, this is an illustration of this girl in a bathroom. That's the toilet. <laughs> and there's a bunch of graffiti. That was really fun to make. I actually forgot this page existed. Also, I don't know why I covered it up. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, next page. Oh yeah, this was around my birthday. So it was 2021, so I turned 21. <laughs> um, this is a hoodie that I got for my birthday. And this is actually like the model that was wearing it. Um, here's a close up. And if I remember right, it's from, I forget, but I'll put the name. Actually, wait, it's from Parks Project. Anyways, over here on this page, I think this is a list of show recommendations that I got from Instagram. It's, wait, let me just... It's a list of 40 shows. Let me give you guys some close-ups in case you're also looking for shows. I actually need to look at this again because this is a great extensive list. Again, I forgot this thing existed, so <laughs> that's kind of funny. This was an original idea. I think it's a combination of three emojis by this user on Instagram. Oh, there's something under here. This is an original character drawing by this user on Instagram. And then, oh yeah, this is one of my mutual art friends' original character. He looks really cool, the camera. Actually, I like this sketch, I like it. Also, um, frog drinking tea suggestion by this user on Instagram. So yeah, that's that spread. Um, next, 
we have arcane fan art <laughs> this is during my arcane phase actually here i suggested to watch arcane i think by the same art mutual jacket potato <laughs> i was suggested to watch arcane and oh my god it was it was amazing i went through a huge phase i really like how oh wait i need to lower it a bit I really love how these sketches of Vi turned out, especially this one, she looks so cute. You could see the arcane style just like seeping into my style. <laughs> and yeah, oh my God. I have such like, like negative memories of this particular artwork. But now that I'm looking back at it, I think it's really like, it's really good. I don't know why I was so hard on myself, <laughs> but yeah. It took so much effort because the page is so huge, but like, I don't know. I I have like nostalgia for this sketchbook. I wish I kept the huge size, but yeah, it's all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. Also here's Echo, but it's like a bit shiny. Let me bring this up. Yeah, some Echo sketches. I think, I think this one's my favorite. He just looks so cute. Now, next spread. Okay, <laughs> this is when I went, I think to the luge, this, oh wait, no, not luge, tobogganing. Um, very out of character for me. Usually I just like stick behind. We also went to this pizza place, which is my favorite pizza place. <laughs> and um, under here is an oil pastel eye. Like this, the glare doesn't show, so that's good. And, oh yeah, this was New Year's, 2022. I really like this character. I want to draw her again. Um, the whole, like, unicorn suit, but it's cursed. <laughs> it's so funny. Now, this page here is a page full of chickens. I remember drawing this with a friend who also drew, like, a rooster. Yeah, I like these sketches. They're all from Pinterest. Oh yeah, and this one... I think I just drew a landscape and then put a chicken on the front. Or maybe it really is a photo like this. I have no idea, I forget. But yeah, this guy, he's just like strutting around, looking all, looking all proud of himself, <laughs> as he should. Oh yeah, and then, you know, the classic coat from Vine. Look at all those chickens. I actually really like how this girl looks. She's super cute. Now, next up we have, oh yeah, this is probably one of my favorite spreads in the sketchbook. So this here, stealing all the attention, is an illustration of one of my favorite artists, OC. Uh, the artist is Prickly Alpaca. She has a YouTube channel and uh, Instagram account. And she was doing a Draw This In Your Style challenge. I had so much fun with this. It took ages, but it was just like so enjoyable, especially like the large scale. I, because I switched to this tiny sketchbook, let me bring this, because I switched to this one, I have not enjoyed doing huge portraits like this in such a long time and I miss it so much. Um, but yeah, this took so much time. I think it took like two, three days uh, over the span of a couple weeks because like I had school and work, unfortunately. Let me give some close-ups because I'm really proud of this artwork. But yeah, there's her face. These are some roses. I really love the rose pattern. I learned how to draw roses because of this. But then I forgot how to draw roses. So, <laughs> and the sword, the details on the sword are just so pretty. Like this is such a well-designed original character. I'm in awe and I'm like so happy I got to draw her. <laughs> Look at the engravings on the metal even. Like, I'm shook. It's all my design. It's it's her design. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. Um, also, this hand, I'm really... I feel like this is the best hand I've ever drawn in my life. So we're just gonna, like, focus on it for a little bit. There. Now, <laughs> moving on to this side, which just got totally brushed over. This is me in art block, except back then, I had no idea what art block actually meant. This tiny sketchbook here taught me what real art block is. Um, but I won't get into that just yet. I'm gonna put him in timeout just for a little bit. Now back to this. Um, yeah, it's just a little cute little vent artwork. 
<laughs> feeling feeling sorry for myself. And then here is another oil pastel drawing of a skull. I really love how this skull turned out. I kind of fell off oil pastels for a bit. I do do a little bit of oil pastels after this, but not quite as much. I think this is a brain typing on a keyboard and holding a mouse. Now, next page. Oh wait, one thing I wanted to mention. I think I kind of just skipped over it. This is baking paper or something, parchment paper for baking. And it's like a cool toned tan color. I use it to cover the oil pastels because otherwise the oil pastels would smudge everywhere. But in my little sketchbook, I figured out another way to cover um, oil pastels, which I'll talk about when I get to that point. Anyways, next. This is, um, I think this is a paper from my fourth year project. We were making a robot arm. So I had to learn about like roll, pitch, and you know, like moving in the Z direction, the X, Y direction. So that was, that was traumatizing. <laughs> it's just like, it's just a bunch of notes. Anyways, this is some figure studies. Um, I thought I was gonna be like, you know, one of those studious artists. But it didn't last very long. Um, this is a background redraw from Arcane. I really love how everything but Vi looks in this painting. So in the original screenshot, Vi is just like a black silhouette. And in hindsight, I should have done that. I should have followed the reference photo exactly and just made her a black silhouette. It would have looked so much better because now she clashes and competes with this painting or graffiti painting on the wall here. I know I'm being like super critical, <laughs> but like I've been pretty positive so far. I've been hyping myself up quite a bit. I feel like I need to make one critique. Now here's some close-ups. There's the, this took ages by the way. This was done with gouache and a little bit, like a tiny touch of colored pencils, but mostly gouache. But all these highlights and like the pipes and stuff like that took ages. It was super fun though, but it was also very like tiring. I love how like the graffiti art turned out and the smoke was also really fun to paint. But yeah, here's a little look at it all. The one thing I remember being bothered by is this glass window, but looking at it now, it's not, it's not that bad. Like I saved it with the colored pencils. But yeah, as you can see, Vi just looks out of place. She should not be this big while jumping off from here to wherever. She should be a black silhouette like this big, maybe. It would have been perfect, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. I definitely want to do more screen cap redraws in my next sketchbook. And since my next sketchbook is going to be as big as this one or even a little bigger, I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna spoil the brand until next video. My next sketchbook is going to be huge, like this one probably. And so I wanna do more screen cap redraws like this. I think I thought I was actually going to draw something here, but I was so tired after this. I was like, I had to tap out. Now, next. This was actually, I think a couple months, or not a couple months, maybe a couple months, I don't know. I don't know the timeline anymore because this was from like so long ago. Oh wait, it's 2022 at this point. But I remember I took a huge break and then I came back to YouTube with a Grove Made uh, collab video. And then I used these Blackwing X Grove Made special pencils to draw these. Um, yeah, they look pretty nice. And then I think I colored them with Crayola here. Like I used Crayola to like add little bits of color. I kind of fell off using graphite pencils for art but I wanna get back into it because that was pretty fun. Now, this is when my younger brother, he's like 14, but back then I think he was like 13. Uh, he got me into Sonic. He turned me into like a Sonic fan, which was great. So we went and watched the Sonic movie together. And of course, I think it was Sonic 2. So I had to watch Sonic 1 first to catch up. And then we watched the second Sonic movie and like, I got obsessed with Eggman. <laughs> He's my favorite character. My brother even got me this as like a birthday gift for my 22nd birthday. It was so cute. This is like the goat milk that he uses, the Hungarian goat milk that he uses in his coffee in the movie. And then there's like mushrooms. I really love this face here because it's like super stylized. But then this one looks like the actor. Um, what's his name? Jim Carrey. <laughs> he did a great job with Eggman. I loved it. Also, I used alcohol markers for this page here. 
um, which is rare for me actually. I barely reach for my Uhuhu markers, or at least back then, I rarely reached for them. Now, next page. Okay, so <laughs> this is event artwork. I have a video explaining it and stuff on my channel actually, but I need to, I think I need to rip this off. One second. No, it's taking the black off. Oh man, kind of ruined it. It's okay. And here it's ripping too. No. I did not think this through. It's okay. It's barely noticeable. <laughs> let me let me glue this piece of paper back into place. There. Anyways, this is an oil pastel crayon and colored pencil artwork. Um, it's basically a vent piece. I had a lot of stuff going on my mind after like uh, the semester was over. Like these two pages, I remember being like kind of stressed doing them. Even though this one was fun, <laughs> but I was still like overall thinking of a lot of things. Like, oh my God, my fourth year of university is over. Uh, so much stuff happened in such a short time. <laughs> so yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Also, I had a job for the first time. Like this was my first time doing a job. It was an engineering job. It was really fun. And so like, yeah, I'm just seeing like so many memories in here <laughs> that I forgot about. Here's some close-ups of like the details and stuff. I also have a whole video showing the process and like explaining stuff. But yeah, I really like how this artwork turned out. I had so many negative thoughts about this artwork, by the way. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually concerning. Um, but yeah, now in hindsight, I really like it. So that's nice. Now, moving on. Oh wait, that's it. Oh, that's disappointing. I think, oh yeah, I think I did this one here. Like I did a page here, but it was so bad that I glued it shut. And I don't wanna mess with past me. But yeah, that's it for today's video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, now we move on to the tiny sketchbook. Here is four and a half, sketchbook four and a half. Now, first of all, this guy here is just like stuffed with pages. And the binding is holding on by like two threads, literally. Um, but yeah, here is the first page. I remember I made a video making the first page. That's the video where I was like complaining about my old sketchbook and starting a new one. So yeah, there's that. Also, I could zoom in a little bit now since, yeah, there we go. Now here I have my sketchbook goals, which I don't even, <laughs> I don't even have the energy to fill up or like check off. I don't, I don't care anymore. I know it's really negative, but like, anyways, I forgot to put the date here. I just realized, let me, let me do that. Ah, sorry, just dropped my pencil. Now, I think I'll use this color, why not? I finished this, I think, um, oh yeah, June 3rd, I finished this, nice. So it took me a little bit less than a year, which is great. Um, did I put a, oh yeah, finished less than one year. Check, by like a couple days. Here is Ziku in, in like my hoodie. Like that's me and he's just like poking at the top. I thought it was really cute. I still think it's really cute. I kind of want to turn it into a sticker. I put my phone and email here and yeah. Here is the first page. Uh, again, I made a whole process video for these two. If you guys are like interested in seeing that. Yeah, I was basically just dabbing the sketchbook that I now love, <laughs> the big moleskin. I was dabbing it to death with my X-Acto knife. Uh, where is my X-Acto knife? Oh, yeah, here it is. This guy. Anyways, <laughs> this is a random cat to fill up space, and this is Annabeth Chase. These shoes here i really love how they turned out and the strawberry the strawberry socks are really cute as well anyways moving on these two pages are glued together um something like i actually remember what i drew in the page in between these and it was really bad but yeah this was an upgrade collaboration video i think it was the first one i ever made with them and it was really fun. I had I had a blast. There's a duck here, Pinterest girl here, um, and then 
this girl with a skateboard. Now next we have another page glued together. Yeah, <laughs> I messed up again. Let me see this page. It's actually not that bad. But anyways, here's the next page, but not really. I cheated. And yeah, it's just these were supposed to be colored, but I ended up not coloring and it's okay. Um, this is a questionable outfit that I wore this one this one time. Um, and then what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, oh, wait. This was a thank you card from an order I got from Art with M. She's the one who made this sticker and this sticker on the cover. It's really cute. Now we can move on. This is the 40K fan art request video. Now, I'm not gonna go crazy like explaining everything here because I made a huge video for it where you could see me draw like every single character. This was the first spread um, where I used colored pencils and watercolor. Let me, let me zoom in. This video actually took like so much effort. It was crazy. And then you can like, wait, what happened? Oh, I think I glued this part. It's not like a flip, a flipper thing. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, Loki is probably my favorite drawing um, in this like 40K video. Or even in this entire sketchbook. I don't know. It's I really like how his face looks. Next, we have more from the 40K fan art video. This time I used gouache and colored pencils to color. I also really like how this guy turned out. Um, I think his name's Roy, Roy Mustang from Full Model Alchemist Brotherhood. And then there's these characters, Little Pig. Next is the last spread for this 60K fan, sorry, 40K fan art video. I just recently made the 60K version. And um, yeah, Azula is my favorite from this spread, I think. But I also really like Spider-Man. I don't draw Spider-Man enough, even though I really enjoy drawing him. Something about the face and like, you know, like the lankiness of him is just so enjoyable to draw. Oh yeah, and here, I think I used gouache for these two, but then markers here. I really needed a break from paints. So yeah. This page here is um, some stickers that I wanted to make, but uh, haven't made. I still really like this design and this design. Like, I feel like I want to make these two stickers. Um, hopefully this summer will happen. I, I have a lot of time on my hands now. I should be able to do it. Now, this I actually just made yesterday. <laughs> this page was blank for the longest time. And so I thought I was gonna like, you know, put some effort yesterday and do some colored pencil drawing. But the minute I picked up the pencil, I realized like I have no energy. I'm just gonna like do whatever. So I did some doodles. <laughs> and call it a day. Um, this is the point where I finished the sketchbook, so it's not really in chronological order. Now, next up, we have this. This was my trip to Egypt in August 2022. Yeah, this is the airplane we took, and we went to this burger place in Montreal, and, um, oh yeah, I watched Black Widow on the plane, and it was so good. I really like the Black Widow movie. I know it's like, split 50 50 kind of like some people really don't like it some people love it i loved it and then this is me in the airport i had like a really bad sore throat or not sore throat like uh i lost my voice and so i was just like croaking and i couldn't hear myself so yeah <laughs> anyways here is when i was in egypt this is my cousin she's a cutie pie her name's liana this is a cafe that they took me to. It's a really nice place, um, except I put the napkin backwards. It was a really cute napkin, and I didn't realize I was gluing it on backwards. And this is my other cousin, Lina. Um, also, shout out to my my aunt's gallery. She has like antiques and stuff. It's really nice. Some of the info here is inaccurate. <laughs> I'm making her a new business card actually right now. Now, next page. Okay, so this is my favorite soft drink on the planet, except it's only in Egypt, as far as I know. Or like, not only in Egypt, but it's it's not in Canada, it's in Egypt and probably other countries. But, yeah, it's called Mirinda and it's like green apple flavor. 
this is um, a 10 pound note. So this divided by 20, it's 0 0.2. I think it's two cents in Canadian dollars. Um, two cents or less even. <laughs> but yeah, I just have it here because I like the I like the look of it. But also if I'm ever in a pinch, I have two cents on me at all times. This is uh, a sketch of my aunt's gallery. It's called Rab's Gallery. And yeah, I really, I really love how the out outside of it looked. I wanted to paint it, but I didn't have time, unfortunately. Anyways, this here is, um, oh yeah, we went on a one day trip uh, to Sahel in Egypt. It's like a beach area, Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it was amazing. I saw, I drew like, I drew, I painted. I painted the scenery with gouache. Sorry, my brain is already dying and we're not even close to halfway done. This is a scenery of the beach. It was gorgeous. The sun was like literally red. Like this painting here doesn't do it justice. It was red at one point. It was so cool. Also, the water was amazing. It, like I didn't realize it was so fun, like swimming in the sea. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here we went to uh, Amr Diab concert. He's a famous Egyptian singer and it was so fun. Like it was the craziest thing I ever did, especially since like our plane was leaving the next day. So we just took like a one day trip, swam in the ocean and then went to a concert. Now his face got ruined with Mod Podge. I used Mod Podge like an idiot, like an amateur <laughs> to seal it. This is not how his face looks. It just, it, the, the color smudged really weirdly. It's okay. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself, <laughs> but yeah, um, still a great memory. Now, next up, we have this scrapbooky page and we have this painting from a summer camp I went to. Um, also, this is the wristband from the Amr Diab concert. This painting here, I really don't like. <laughs> Sorry for being a little negative, but I just don't know what this is and yeah, it, the perspective is a bit off. Now, next we have, um, I think this is my first time doing a collaboration with Stationery Pal. So this is a video on my channel. I was experimenting with pens and like these markers for the first time in quite a while. Like I rarely use pens anymore. So yeah. And then this is the next page. I really like how this thingy here looks it's like a cafe um i don't like how the sign looks but that's like my only complaint <laughs> and then i painted this with gouache over here so there's a bunch of like broken wrinkly fingers my favorite thing to draw and those coffee beans and yeah this cafe next up Oh, whoops, that was aggressive. Next up, we have this character design video that I made for this like scarecrow girl. So I was combining two themes, scarecrow and fairy core. And the first design was this one here, which didn't fly. Then I did this girl here. And I don't know, it's just a lot cuter. It was cute, mischievous, that sort of thing. This is the mask that she wears. And, oh yeah, this video was in collaboration with Artex. So this was their set of markers. I love these markers. Dare I say, I like them more than Ohuhu. I will dare, I will, I will 100% say that. The yellow selection and just brown selection is so much more varied and vibrant and nicer. And also look at all these pastels, like who could never, not to like roast them too hard, but yeah. <laughs> Here is the final artwork that I made with the markers and character. Now, next we have another, another collaboration video. <laughs> I think at this point in my life, I was just doing like videos um, in my sketchbook. This is another Upcrate collab. And the, the tools were very questionable, not gonna lie. I don't like using acrylic markers especially if there's like not a lot of colors. Like I don't mind acrylic markers if it's like a big set, but if it's just like four colors and no colored pencils to like support it, it's just, it's just really hard. Now I made this using mostly colored pencils and then just like very little acrylic added. So it's like on theme for the video. 
Same with this one. Uh, I really like how this turned out. This, not so much, if I'm being honest. Now, next we have this artwork here where I really tried to incorporate the markers a lot since that was supposed to be like the point of the video. I actually really like this artwork. We have this guy from Fall Guys. It's a game that I was addicted to at the time. And yeah, I honestly, I like how this artwork looks to this day. One, my one critique, please don't hate me, <laughs> but the hands are not like an anatomically correct. Um, that's a hard word for me, but they just look a little crusty, if you know what I mean. This page was me at the end of my rope, so <laughs> I just like did whatever. Uh, I like the scrapbook effect of all the stationary power supplies. I think it's super cute. And this is a sticker from Egypt as well that just like coincidentally matched the color scheme really well. So yeah. Now next we have a glued together page. See, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being transparent. This page was glued shut. And then we have this spread. Now, this spread is interesting because this page full of Dwight Schrute, if that's how you pronounce his name, <laughs> this page full of Dwight's is actually a ripped out page from the sketchbook. And I just, I flipped the page the other way and just pasted it. I love how the cartoon version turned out. I kind of want to turn this one into a sticker. I feel like it's sticker material, kind of. And then two little sketches of his face again. But yeah, I didn't want to color it because I didn't want to risk ruining how sketchy and cutesy it looked. <laughs> and this is when I went back to school, except I think it was a bit after I went back to school. This is that girl from the end of the bleeping world, that show on Netflix. Um, I wanted to draw her. This is actually a random person in class who was just like sitting. And I like the way her like, I like the way her jacket fell. So I tried drawing that. Now. Next up, we have me dying from art block. And like, this is the first of many art blocks throughout this sketchbook. But yeah, this one was pretty bad, but not the worst. Uh, I got this like stamp set from Amazon. And so I was just like having fun with it. And yeah, I was not having fun with art at this stage. I don't know, it was just like, it's kind of sad. This was the second stationary pal um, like collaboration. I just did like all the testing for the pens on here. Um, this was a sticky note, it looks really cool, but I don't know if I'd ever use it as a sticky note. It's too, it's too cool. Anyways, um, moving on. We have this page. This was the Ohuhu marker collaboration video. This really snapped me out of my art block. Like, like I finally felt re-inspired. The markers worked like a dream. And it was such a huge amount of markers that I was just like, I couldn't not be excited. <laughs> now, I think this was for Inktober, I think. Yeah, yeah, this was day four fish for Inktober. But like, I didn't really do Inktober. Um, I just did a fish and called it a day. <laughs> now, after this is still the, the whole Ahuhu collaboration. I really love this spread. I think it looks super, super cool. I love the colors. I love how the markers work as well. Actually, let me do close-ups because the fish deserves a close-up. I love this fish. And here's some more close-ups. This is, what's her name? What's her name from Arcane? <laughs> that girl from Arcane, I like her. Why did I forget her name? Yeah, no, I can't remember her name, but I love her. She's one of my favorite characters, but I realize she gets a lot of hate for some reason, or like just people, don't appreciate her that much. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just on the wrong side of the internet, but I love her. And then this is an eye. I really like how this eye turned out. The colors are cute. Now here is some Spider-Verse fan art. So over here is like an illustration of him doing graffiti. He's a little off proportion wise. I think, I think it's pretty obvious. Like this portion of him should be smaller. Um, or his legs should be longer and bigger. Also, if you'd like to see the process for all these, again, <laughs> it's another video. It's all on my channel. Um, and yeah, here's a little cutout of Miles Morales. I still haven't seen the new Spider-Verse video, uh, video, 
uh, movie. I haven't seen the second Spider-Verse movie, but I'm really excited. I'm going to go see it this Saturday, probably. Anyways, moving on. We have this page here. This is an unfinished, well, not really unfinished. It's basically a pencil sketch of this guy eating noodles. I had plans for it. Like I was gonna color it with gouache or watercolor or something, or maybe even markers. Markers would look cool, but I didn't. I might redraw this one time though, like the reference photo and do it with markers because the pose is really cool. I like it. Now this is a really old gouache painting from like, not even a sketchbook, like a scrapbook that I used to own. <laughs> I don't know when this is from. <laughs> All I know is that it doesn't belong here, but I put it here to just like fill up space. And then over here is like a friend of mine and then just random scrapbooky stuff. I wasn't in the mood to fill this page, you know? It, it happens, it happens sometimes. Oh yeah, and this is like a fortune cookie thing. Don't give up, the best is yet to come. I felt it match the time pretty well. Now, this is a cake that I drew at Carmelito Cafe with a friend of mine. We both hate cake after this. Like, this was such a horrible experience. <laughs> it was such a hard thing to draw. It looks like a sponge, which I guess, like, it's a sponge cake. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. It looks kind of cute, but it's also, it was also really frustrating to draw, if that makes sense. Yeah, I said pain session with Miriam. It's November 5th, 2022. And then I just glued these in because I really hated the sketches underneath. This was a thing I did for major deadlines because I missed like an entire quiz. An entire quiz that was worth like 5%, I think. I was so mad at myself. Uh, this is an orange that I drew months after this all happened. And I just stuck it in here. And then there's just that. Um... Oh yeah, underneath here is a drawing that I hate, but I've been told that it actually looks kind of cute, so I'll show it. Why not? <laughs> I need to stop being so like hard on myself. But yeah, here's the drawing. I don't know, I just don't like the color mixed with this. Like, it's not like I think it's ugly, I just don't like the colors, that's all. Now, next up, we have this page. Oh wait, I skipped a page. Next up, we have this page here. Now here is Shuri from Wakanda Forever. I love that movie. She looks so cool. Like I love that outfit, I love the style, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I really like how this full body portrait looks. Uh, it's just so small and cute and proportionate, unlike the Spider-Man from earlier. And then this is me dying on my desk. This is actually like an accurate drawing of my desk. Um, I really like this illustration. I think both of these were also for a video, so the process is, the process is there. Next up, we have, um, what's this thing called? Inside Job Fan Art. Now, I cannot remember their names, but I really like the show. <laughs> it's just like typical for me to not remember names of characters I like. Unless if they're like so iconic, like Wednesday here, I can't, I can't really forget that. Um, but yeah, here's some Wednesday fan art. Wednesday thing. Wednesday again. I also like how cute this looks. Next up, this is another painting session with Maryam. And it was at the same cafe as well, Carmelito. Uh, we both painted the recorder thingy here. Um, and then I painted a strawberry, but I never finished it. I was going to finish it with colored pencils and it was gonna look like kind of realistic. But I got lazy, you know? This is recent. <laughs> this page here was blank for the longest time. I just had like this pink thing here. So I think two days ago, I just drew this, pasted it on, called it a day. <laughs> and it's surprisingly, probably one of my favorite drawings in this sketchbook. Like unironically, I like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Um, next page we have, oh yeah. This is a really thick page. I don't think I glued two pages shut. I think it's just because there's so much layered paper. Anyways, this is the Mandalorian. This is a scrapbook page because I had no idea what to put next to him. Um, so yeah, I just put a bunch of random things. This was done with oil pastels, just like in the previous uh, sketchbook. I just realized my hand is messed up. Anyways, 
it's acrylic paint. I'll I'll have to scrub that off. Anyways, Mandalorian, uh, Pedro Pascal. Someone sent me a pun calling him Pedro Pastel, <laughs> and I love it. It's just like such a good pun. Um, I did this with oil pastels, and I I uh, what's it called? I varnished it to keep it from like smudging, and it's perfect. If I can get to the point, it will be perfect. I varnished it with Mod Podge, and it actually worked. So. Basically, when you put the Mod Podge on, it's gonna look horrible. Like it's gonna look white and destroyed and you're gonna be like, oh my God, did I just destroy it? But the important thing is to not wipe the Mod Podge off. Like you have to just leave it. It's gonna look horrible. You're gonna be scared. <laughs> but if you leave it for a really long time, it will just like dissolve. Like it won't, it will be transparent. So the issue I had here with Am Dieb, um, I wiped it like I was furiously trying to like wipe off the Mod Podge. I was like, no, I ruined my drawing. And then I really did ruin my drawing. So <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson. Anyways, next spread we have, um, oh yeah, this was for a video. I was doing like a three color challenge. That's why this page here got destroyed. These spreads here, it was supposed to be for the three color challenge, but it looked so ugly that I just had to like flip the page and move on. <laughs> so. Yeah, this was the three color challenge. As you can see, the pages are like, the, the sketchbook, I mean, is ripping apart. But yeah, it's supposed to look like that if I'm pressing it closed. So there's a lot going on in this page and I have a video for it, so I won't go into too much detail. But this was like for my 22nd birthday, I got this poncho. <laughs> so I drew myself wearing it. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. I really like this color scheme, I feel it's, Super cute. Now, moving on to the next spread. This was for the World Cup. So this is Richarlison from the Brazilian team. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. <laughs> Anyways, we were rooting for Brazil so hard. <laughs> my dad was born and raised there for a little bit. So like my entire life, I've just been cheering for Brazil by default. Anyways, this here is Ashraf Hakimi. And underneath here is Bono from the Moroccan team, who we were 100% cheering for. <laughs> like we were cheering so hard for them. This is him doing like the penguin celebration. This is Bono saving a goal as he does. And then here is Cristiano Ronaldo, who I was cheering for. <laughs> I am so mad. Like I cannot express how mad I am that Argentina won. And it's nothing personal. I just, every time I see Messi's face, I want to vomit, that's all. But I was so mad. I'm a diehard Cristiano Ronaldo fan and Brazilian fan. And I even became a Moroccan fan because like their team was amazing this World Cup. But like when they lost to France, I was sad, but I was even willing to cheer for France. I was willing to do anything just for Argentina to lose, but it's okay. It wasn't meant to be. When I tell you this like ruins my mood for so many days and it was during exam season, like I couldn't afford to be moping, but I was moping so hard. Um, it just ruined my mood. It destroyed like everything, everything. Anyways, I'm getting way too heated over this. Please don't kill me in the comments, by the way, if you're an Argentina Messi fan, that's fine. I'm, I'm not, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna move on before I get murdered. This page here is New Year. Um, I had some 2023 art goals, which I'm not gonna pay attention to because it just stresses me out. And then this gouache skull, I really love it. I love how it turned out. And for once it wasn't for a video, like I was just doing my own thing, even here. Um, I was taking a break from YouTube, which was healthy. Anyways, the gouache skull here was really fun. Um, I also have, here is like my friend's friend's bunny. His name is Mandrake and they called him like Monsieur Mandrake, which is cute. The, the paint chipped off a little bit here, um, but it's okay. And this here is my baby, my son, my firstborn son, Ziku, which we sometimes call Ziku Biku. <laughs> Um, yeah, this was December 21, 2022. So I think I sketched it then, but I like, I, I painted it after New Year's. So this is Wednesday and this is a landscape that I kind of made up. It's like composed of like three different reference photos. Um, 
but yeah <laughs> i really love how the trees and like the reflected light looks and even though this doesn't really look like jenna ortega i think that's i feel like that's how you pronounce her name it doesn't really look like her but it still gives like wednesday vibes which is all i could ask for now next we have another gouache painting here this was following a tutorial by this amazing artist here on youtube i'll put her username on the screen because i forgot to write it down um but yeah me and i think two friends yeah, yeah two of my friends were following her tutorial and it was really fun it was super relaxing we all actually shared and used the mia Himi palette together since it was like the 50 set so it was like it was easy to share it and you know have fun with gouache now over here is this guy who i forget his name from jujitsu kaisen <laughs> i hope i'm pronouncing that right but uh this is just like a screen cap redraw of him being punched in the face and then here are some like cursed doodles for you guys to enjoy i think i was going through art block again i think i could be wrong but i think you know just just a hunch now next page we have um oh yeah these were some instagram requests i think so we have a cute little frog in a wizard hat this is a lady in a fur coat that i left uncolored because i like this sketch and also like not everything has to be colored and this is a bear combined with a dog now here we have a banana eating a banana which was one of the funnier requests i got <laughs> this guy and the unicorn girl should you know have a have a costume party or something anyways moving on oh well you'll look at that two pages glued together again <laughs> next here we have um i think this was an attempt at a video but then i scrapped the entire thing because like i was i was just like it was making my art block worse um yeah i actually remember this now so i was pretending or like gaslighting myself into believing my art block was over but it very much wasn't like all this was so forced <laughs> anyways i i do like the color scheme i think it's a really cute color scheme and i like how the sketches turned out but it was just so forced and you know pressure on myself so again i have mixed feelings i really like the sardines though I want to turn the sardines into um, a sticker. Oh yeah, this was also for that video. I was so art blocked that I resorted to drawing Loblaws, which is like a grocery store here in Ontario. Um, to be fair, I do like the color scheme. I like how it looks. And then I drew this rose because it was like Valentine's Day, which is like one of my friend's birthday. Okay, so I completely skimmed over it for some reason, but there's like... Uh, like a kind of realistic colored pencil drawing of pasta sauce. <laughs> Me and the birthday girlfriend, we cooked that together and we bought it together from this random Dollarama. <laughs> but yeah, I drew it there because I was art block, desperate, and also it was like, it was a key memory. Also, this is like the first time I ever attempted my driving exam. I failed the first time and i was also sleep deprived because like on the same day as the exam i had a midterm and then after the midterm by an hour it was exam time so i had to like rush back home by bus and i got myself a monster beforehand to try and like stay alive so that's me drinking a monster anyways it was it was crazy crazy time i passed the second attempt though so i now know how to drive <laughs> now next here we have um oh yeah this was the mac youth camp 2023 it's the same camp that was like all the way back here where is it oh yeah i didn't think i mentioned i don't think i mentioned that this was a camp or maybe i did anyways same camp as this one except it was the winter edition and i really enjoyed it a lot more this was like cedar ridge camp um it was really nice this is the fireplace that they have and i like sketched it out this camp here, I feel healed me a little bit from my art block that was plaguing me all throughout this these four pages. Um, yeah, I just forgot about YouTube for a while, which was like good for me, as sad as it sounds. But I stopped panicking about making videos and I just, you know, enjoyed sketching stuff. This is a friend of mine skating 
And this is my younger sister skating as well, playing hockey. It was her first time on ice skates and she actually did like really well. Like she did great, it was, it was cute. Now this is on the bus ride back. So I actually dropped my phone at this camp into a frozen lake. The phone that I'm filming with right now. I dropped it into a frozen lake and it was lost for like two weeks. Like we kept looking for it. We were only there for three days. And in those three days, we kept looking for it. We didn't find it. Two weeks later, they mailed it back to me, which was super kind of them. But like on the bus ride back, I was bored out of my mind because I had no phone to like distract myself with. So I just sketched the interior of the bus. And um, oh yeah, next page. Oh yeah, this is, sorry. I'm, I'm rushing. This is the ice rink. I was going to paint it with gouache, but I was lazy. And then this is the bus crash. <laughs> so if you see here, I say like moments before disaster, cause this was me just sketching the interior of the bus before it crashed into someone's driveway. It wasn't really a crash. It was more like a gentle getting stuck into someone's like private driveway. <laughs> It was also like in the middle of the woods, so it was crazy. Uh, kind of creepy as well. Now this entire spread was made with uh, Artex, um, what's it called? Artex paint markers, and they were so fun to use. I highly recommend them over Posca markers just because of the affordability. And then I also drew some South Park characters because I went through a South Park phase. <laughs> I also have a video for this, by the way. So um, like the whole process is shown in that video. And then, oh yeah, this is the next page. This is me and a friend of mine. I got so lazy though, I didn't finish it. Like it was supposed to be painted fully, but it's okay. And then I covered it with this thing here. Now here is Mishmish. Uh, Mishmish is our second cat. We got in, I think late February or maybe late January. I forget, time is relative. <laughs> But he was born November 17th, so he's like almost seven months old right now. And he's a Maine Coon cat. He's adorable. He's a cutie. Next up, this was during my university's STEM Awareness Week. Um, so we have like this week where we talk about our religion and, you know, there's a bunch of volunteers. We have shirts. I had fun making the graphics for the shirt this year. And uh, yeah, this is me and my friend volunteering. This is my other friend with a giant scarf. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. I also want to turn this into a sticker one time. And then, oh yeah, this is me mourning my phone. I, was, I finally found the time to make a little thing for it. I didn't know my phone was alive at this point. I thought it was still dead. <laughs> and this here is when I got my iron ring for engineering. They give it to us when we're graduating from engineering. This is the O thing that they tell us to read during the ceremony. It is a very weird ceremony, let me say. Like it is, it's a cult. It's actually kind of weird. They had these like really stupid poetry things, poems read to us. And then, I don't know, it was, it was wild. Me and my friend were just like laughing the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, I was really happy to get this ring though because it just like symbolizes it being over. Now, next page, um, these are a bunch of random sketches. This is from my 60K fan art video, but I stuck it all the way back here because I had no room for it, like up at the front where it was. This is my friend Alina, who I graduated with here, but she's not pictured here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she's making these really dumb noises during class. I'm calling her out here on my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> these were the sounds she was making. Feel free to try and like replicate the sounds, see what it was like. Now in return, she very kindly drew me. This is a very accurate representation of what I look like. Um, pay attention to the six packs as well. That's not a leaf, that's a six pack. And then I drew a chicken cause chickens are really cute. And here's some life advice from Alina herself. And over here is a sketch of one of Valina's friends drinking an entire Fruitopia carton, juice carton at like the university library. Uh, <laughs> it was, 
it was wild. Now, next up, <laughs> this spread here. Now, these were also for a video where I was reviewing the Paul Rubens Artist Grade paints. This is just like a cluttered background. I was really happy to do cluttered backgrounds again since it's been a while. I really wanna do more cluttered backgrounds in my next sketchbook. And here is a skull. I really like the beanie, but I don't like this thing here. So if I were to turn this into a sticker, I think I would just turn this part into, into the sticker. Next up, we have the 60K fan art request video. This was my previous upload and it was really fun to do. Um, again, I won't go into too much detail cause like I literally, I, I say everything in that video, <laughs> but basically I filled eight sketchbook spreads. And by this point I was so sick of like the sketchbook, not in a bad way, just in like, uh, I'm so tired of the sketchbook. I want to move on to something new. I want something exciting. <laughs> it happens all the time compared to my 40K sketchbook, sorry, my 40K fan art request video, I can like, at least I can see the reduction in energy. <laughs> like this is so much more calmer than the previous one. Let me show the whole thing, but this is the first page. And then this is the second page. Um, here's the third. It was so many pages to fill. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. But as you can see, I had to do cutouts because the sketchbook is so tiny. Like I couldn't just do a bunch of characters on one page. Like each page would have like two, three-ish stuff. Um, but yeah, and here is the final page. I really love how Zoro turned out. I wanna do more One Piece fan art for sure. Now, I really like this video, like the 60K one because it felt more real, more relaxed and like, uh, more feasible. <laughs> I was also able to draw way more characters. Like a lot of these requests are actually like multiple characters in one, um, like these two here. Um, and yeah, the vibe was just so much more chill and relaxed. In comparison, the 40K was just like so extra. <laughs> like I put my entire soul into this, which again, like is perfectly fine. Like both are good. I'm just saying they're like two different things, two different ways of going about it. Anyways, moving on. I think we can, I think we can skim past these. Anyways, last page. Oh wait, no, not last page. Here we have my second trip to Egypt, which happened just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> like it started end of May and then a little bit into June. So this is like me sketching the view and stuff. And there's like a cute little crow here. The crows in Egypt are so cool. Like they're beige and black. And then here we have a picture, or sorry, a gouache painting of a hood hood, also known as a uh, hopo, I think in English. Just such a weird name. <laughs> Uh, I like calling it a hood hood way better. Um, yeah, the bird was so cute in person. Like I actually didn't know they were that friendly. They would go like almost right up to us and just like pull worms from the ground. Over here is a gouache painting of some shrimp. I really like how this one turned out, not so much this one. So if I'm turning this into a sticker, which I might, I'm thinking of just like doing this one here and then like copying it and like rotating it, like flipping it digitally to complete the heart. Cause it was supposed to be a heart, but I don't know. I made this shrimp a little too big. Anyways, here is the last page. I'm always surprised when filming these sketchbook tours when I reach the last page, like it always just takes me, takes me off guard. Anyways, this is a stuffed toy that my sister bought during the trip to Egypt. <laughs> It's this cute little duck chicken thing. We can't decide whether it's a duck or a chicken. And yeah, that's the end of the sketchbook. June 12, 2022 to June 3rd, 2022. Um, over here is just like some random scrapbooky stuff. There's some personal stuff under here, but one thing I can show is, oh yeah, also the pocket here is empty. So there's nothing in there. But one thing I can show is this really cute drawing of Azula that my friend drew for me. I have it right here. Usually it's not covered. I don't know why it was covered. It's usually on top of this like uh, postcard from the hotel we were at. Anyways, that's it. 
we have this goose with a knife and yeah that ends the sketchbook tour <laughs> so yeah that's it for today's sketchbook tour video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and um yeah i'm gonna be starting my new sketchbook really soon now i know what maybe some of you are thinking um why don't i just finish the sketchbook and the answer for that is that i don't know i just really want to start something new and just like start fresh however this the paper from the sketchbook will 100 percent not go to waste so like i have plans on like whenever I have cutouts that I need to paste in, which I do quite often, like where, where's an example? Like this thing here and what else? Um, there's so many cutouts. Yeah, so many things I just like paste in, especially in this sketchbook. I feel like, yeah, like this and what else? <laughs> now all of a sudden they're all gone. This thing, this entire piece of paper here, Whenever I need to cover something up or just like have a cutout flap, I will pull the paper from this sketchbook for sure. Cause the paper is nice. It's not too thick and it's the perfect color for drawing on. So it's not, it's not gonna be wasteful throughout the next couple years. I'll definitely be pulling paper from here. Uh, at least I, I hope I do. <laughs> now I'm gonna go off into a little tangent for this part of the video. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it art-wise. Like, we're done with the sketchbook tour. Anyways, tangent-wise, <laughs> I one of the reasons I want to get another huge sketchbook like this one is because, first of all, I did have a lot of fun in the sketchbook. And second of all, there's just like way more variety and options when the sketchbook is huge, at least in my opinion. Um, like this one, sure, was easier to fill, like I filled it way faster than I would have filled this one, but it also had so much less options. Like I wasn't able to do huge portraits like this and I wasn't able to do like land, like giant landscape drawings. Like where is it? That arcane landscape. Where'd it go? It disappeared into thin air. Here we go. <laughs> like this huge thing here would never be possible in this little guy. And I know I can always work outside of my sketchbook, but I so much prefer working inside my sketchbook. Um, so like I prefer to make finished illustrations that are meant for prints in my sketchbook, but also have like rough doodly stuff like this and, you know, just scrapbooky pages as well. Like I like it all mushed into one place. I don't like working in multiple places. I know it's pretty weird and it's very like particular and picky of me. <laughs> but that's just the way I roll and yeah, it's okay. I've grown to accept that of myself. So I'm just really excited to be working large scale again, taking a break from small scale stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope it goes smoothly. And next video, I will be revealing the sketchbook brand, uh, the shape, everything, and uh, filling in some pages. So yeah, thank you all so much for sticking around and watching this far. I hope you enjoyed the sketchbook tours, plural, <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next video in a week or two weeks. Bye!